Good evening, this is Ali and you're watching TNG News. Consul General Rali Tihada says he is working on getting the Hong Kong government to backtrack on its mandatory vaccination order for all foreign domestic helpers applying for employment visa. No date has yet been set for implementing mandatory vaccination for those renewing their visas or transferring to new employers, so we will work hard to talk to Hong Kong officials, so hopefully this won't push through. Tihada also said the Hong Kong government should have consulted concern with consulate first before ordering all foreign domestic helper to undergo COVID-19 test between May 1 to 9 and to get vaccinated when they apply for new work visas. He said it would have been better if concerned consulates like the Philippines, Indonesia and other countries of origin were consulted on this matter as it involved the substance of human rights of our nationals. The consulate has been supportive of Hong Kong free and voluntary vaccination program and have actively campaigned for this. However, our nationals need not be forced to take the vaccine since I am confident that they will do the right thing. Tihada also said that if Hong Kong wanted to impose a mandatory vaccination for people who are on work visas here, everyone in the same situation should be included, not just for domestic helpers. There are many other non-residents who are similarly situated and are under the same work conditions. So why single out for domestic helpers? The Hada did not deal with the issue of mandatory testing as it has become moved with the implementation already underway. However, he said he is consulting informally with other consulate generals on the possibility of taking joint position on the Hong Kong government's pronouncements. A spokesman for the Food and Health Bureau thanked the general public for their cooperation in undergoing compulsory testing for the fighting the virus together on May 2. Specimens were collected for over 113,000 plus persons, including more than 52,000 plus foreign domestic helpers on May 1, at 21 community testing centers and 35 mobile specimen collection stations, making it a record high for daily specimen collection. The government also set up an additional mobile specimen collection station at Colon Park on May 2 to enhance services as at 6 p.m. on that day, testing has been completed for over 54,000 plus specimen and no preliminary positive result has been found so far. The government has been adopting the new direction for fighting the pandemic since mid-April. Targeted border control and infection control measures were introduced to safeguard Hong Kong against imported cases and prevent cases from spreading locally. Announcement from Labor Department Free vaccination priority group have been expanded to cover foreign domestic helpers. For online booking and other details, please visit the designated website of the vaccination program www.covidvaccine.gov.hk the website contain information in many languages, include Tagalog and Pasa Indonesia. And now, let's talk about TNG Wallet. TNG is back on the road. We will be having a pop-up session in Central and Causeway Bay this coming weekend. For those of you are interested in having your own TNG MasterCard, you may visit our pop-up activation point for immediately activation. For more inquiry, you can call our customer service 39516268 and our office address 20 floor Olympia Plaza, 255 Kings Road, North Point, nearby Fortress Hill MTR Station, Exit B. And that's all. Thank you for watching TNG News.